Before ZBrush 2020, there was a few ways to mask based on color of an object, but they were not very sophisticated, not even worth getting into. However, there is a new great feature that allows you to mask more precisely based on the painted color on a model. Let's look at over those uh, like features over here. Now, I have this model which I painted, which is it's the same dog model that you find in your uh, light box okay so what i did is that i just painted uh the eyes and here this part uh, also the handkerchief and everything just i have given it a bit of a, a variations of color so we can see how we can do that now this is already inside the uh, like in your description you can find this a uh, project file you can download so you can also practice on the same one if you don't have it uh don't worry in the light box there are some uh, painted objects but you know, I just have post, uh, you know, uh, actually uh, uploaded. Now, we have this model open that has poly painted color. And we're going to be able to use this to create mask based on that color. So let's go down in the masking submenu here. Where it is, here it is. Okay. And once we are there, let's come down to the mask by color so there is a mask by color option here if i will go here you can find that and we will you will see there is a mask by poly paint but if you will click on this one it will bring up a separate uh, window that uh, let us control lots of different functions in here so go ahead and click on frame over here so it will zoom in your object which will make it easier for you to uh, look around and it will zoom. But first, let's just look at what new interface items we have over here. The first thing uh, we got is the height color. So if I will click on the height color, it will hide all the colors that I have applied over here. Okay, so, but I will uncheck this one. I want to see the colors. Uh, this is if you want to see how your masking is being done and those things. So other than that, you have hide materials also. So you can hide the material so you can see actually what uh, here it looks like. But if you feel that this is too dark to see the mask, you just can come over here and change that one. So for example, if I will change this color to something like a white, okay, and then go back here. So you can see that when I hit the color, it is becoming white. So now my uh, mask will be shown more prominently. Apart from this, we have height mask and we can toggle this on and off. But it's not going to do anything right now because we haven't masked anything yet. So same with inverse mask. You can inverse the mask, but we don't have any mask over here. So we cannot use these two values over here. Okay, so to start masking a color, uh, you have to just go here and you will see that there is a color. So basically what you need to do is that you just have to first swatch down to the color that you want here. So I usually go with the first color. Okay, and I will drag this to the screen to pick the color from the screen and that color will be uh, dropped back here. Suppose I want this red color, so I'll just click on it. Go to this red color here and when i click on this red color so what it will do is that it will start masking here now if i zoom in okay here more like uh, you can still use your uh your uh, like zbrush uh like navigation settings here for uh navigation now you can see that I have I'm uh, right now if I will hide the colors you can see that it is masking that part now the tolerance is how much is 30 what if I reduce the tolerance here so what will happen it uh, will start becoming smaller and smaller and more details will be captured but 30 I think is good but if I will increase you can see that it is capturing these 
light red color as well. So light red color is now also becoming the part of the mask, which sometimes uh, you know you might want, but in most of the cases maybe you don't want. So I will reduce it and go back to what was the 30. Okay. And then if I will go back here, you can see that it's here. Now I can mask some more colors over here. Like suppose I want to mask uh, these black dots here. So what I can do, I can click on this one, okay, drag and pick this black color. Now if I will hide the colors from here, you can see that black, wherever that black color is, is also now the part of it. You can control it by increasing the tolerance or decreasing the tolerance, but I will keep it 30 over here as well. So this is a very powerful tool if you want to mask with the help of your uh, actually like your color over here okay now once you are ready and you want to you know uh, just use this mask so what you can do just is that you just have to press okay but if you want to inverse this mask settings you can just click on the inverse mask it will inverse the whole mask here okay and if you don't want to see the mask right now, only the colors at that stage, so you can do that. But, you know, usually I want to see the mask. If I want to inverse it, I can inverse that or not. So suppose if I want to inverse it and press OK, so it will do that this sort of thing. But what I want is that I don't want this one. I just want all this. So I can just press OK over here and you can see that it has mask here. But because of the colors are there, it's just not showing. If I will take my standard brush tool and start ma uh, painting over here, you can see that this painting over that mask area. But uh, if you want to inverse it, just press Control, click over here. It will be inversed. And then if I will paint over, it will paint on this part of the mask. Okay. So maybe you want to raise this bit or just like before we use the inflation here we can go to the inflation and the deformation part okay and we can inflate inwards or outwards it will be up to you so if i will invert it outwards you will have this kind of a effect and control drag over here so to get rid of the mask and then you can smooth it up so you will have slight raised uh, spots over here and this as well so quite handy tool helps a lot to create these kind of details so i hope uh, you have uh, liked this thing okay so you can do a lot of different uh, like uh, experiments uh, with this one so you can use that mask just like any other mask okay so pretty straightforward uh, in the past i used to have the painstakingly mask things like this manually but uh now it's just a few clicks so i hope you will enjoy this also because it's now more easier and if you have liked my video please click on the like button if you have any questions just leave it in the uh, comment section below and also make sure that you watch all my videos online if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it and give me a shout out on your social media account so i can get more and more subscribers also help you to get more subscribers help me to get uh, more likes and comments over here and i promise i will produce more and more content for you all and full courses short tutorials and everything so until the, uh, we meet next time take care of yourself everyone thank you thanks a lot and take care so bye